Green tea, one of the most popular beverages worldwide, has been the subject of extensive research due to its potential health benefits. Some studies suggest that green tea may help in the prevention and management of diabetes. This video will delve into the relationship between green tea and diabetes, exploring the available scientific evidence, and discussing the potential mechanisms through which green tea may exert its effects. Green tea is a type of tea made from the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. Unlike black and oolong teas, green tea leaves are not fermented during processing, which preserves their high content of bioactive compounds. The primary components responsible for green tea's health benefits are catechins, a group of powerful antioxidants. The most abundant and potent catechin in green tea is epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG, which has been the focus of many scientific studies. Green tea and diabetes prevention. Several epidemiological and observational studies have investigated the association between green tea consumption and the risk of developing diabetes. A 2009 meta-analysis of 17 cohort studies, including more than 437,000 participants, reported that green tea consumption was associated with a reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes, particularly among those who consumed six or more cups per day. Another study published in the journal Diabetes Care in 2006 followed 17,413 Japanese adults for five years and found that participants who consumed six or more cups of green tea per day had a 33% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who consumed less than one cup per week. However, not all studies have reported a significant association. A 2012 meta-analysis of 18 prospective cohort studies, which included more than 545,000 participants, found no significant association between green tea consumption and type 2 diabetes risk. It is worth noting that the evidence is stronger in Asian populations, where green tea consumption is higher than in Western populations. Therefore, more research is needed to better understand the relationship between green tea and diabetes prevention in different populations. Green tea and glycemic control. Several clinical trials have assessed the effects of green tea on glycemic control, a key factor in diabetes management. A 2013 meta-analysis of 17 randomized controlled trials involving 1,133 participants found that green tea consumption significantly reduced fasting blood glucose and glycated hemoglobin B1C, levels, both of which are important markers of long-term blood sugar control. Another meta-analysis published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2014 analyzed data from 22 randomized controlled trials with a total of 1,584 participants. This study found that green tea supplementation significantly reduced fasting blood glucose levels but did not have a significant effect on HbA1c levels. The evidence suggests that green tea may have modest beneficial effects on glycemic control, but the overall impact on diabetes management remains unclear. Green tea and insulin sensitivity Insulin sensitivity is an essential factor in the development and progression of type 2 diabetes. Several studies have investigated the effects of green tea on insulin sensitivity and found promising results. A 2004 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition investigated the effects of green tea extract on glucose metabolism in healthy young men. The study found that green tea extract significantly improved insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance, suggesting a potential role in preventing type 2 diabetes. Another study published in the journal Diabetes in 2013 examined the effects of EGCG on insulin sensitivity in obese, insulin-resistant mice. The researchers found that EGCG treatment significantly improved insulin sensitivity, reduced blood glucose levels, and decreased inflammation in the liver. These findings provide preliminary evidence that green tea may have a positive impact on insulin sensitivity. However, more research, particularly in human subjects, is needed to confirm these findings and determine the optimal dosage and duration of green tea supplementation for improving insulin sensitivity. Green tea and diabetes-related complications. Diabetes-related complications, such as cardiovascular disease and kidney damage, can have a significant impact on the quality of life and survival of individuals with diabetes. Some studies have explored the potential benefits of green tea in preventing or mitigating these complications. A 2011 study published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry reported that green tea polyphenols, particularly EGCG, could protect against diabetic nephropathy, kidney damage, in diabetic rats by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the kidneys. Another study published in the journal Nutrition, Metabolism and Cardiovascular Diseases in 2014 examined the association between green tea consumption and the risk of cardiovascular disease in 1,040 Japanese patients with type 2 diabetes. The researchers found that higher green tea consumption was associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease, particularly among women. 
These studies suggest that green tea may have potential benefits in preventing or reducing diabetes-related complications. However, more research is needed to establish the extent of these benefits and the optimal amount and duration of green tea consumption for individuals with diabetes. Potential Mechanisms of Action Several mechanisms have been proposed to explain the potential beneficial effects of green tea on diabetes prevention and management. Antioxidant Effects Green tea catechins, particularly EGCG, have potent antioxidant properties that can help protect cells from oxidative damage, which has been implicated in the development of diabetes and its complications. Anti-inflammatory effects, green tea has been shown to reduce inflammation in various studies, and chronic inflammation is known to contribute to the development of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Glucose uptake and metabolism, some studies have reported that green tea can enhance glucose uptake and metabolism in skeletal muscle cells, potentially leading to improved blood sugar control. Insulin secretion, green tea may also enhance insulin secretion from pancreatic beta cells, which can help maintain normal blood sugar levels. Inhibition of carbohydrate digestion and absorption. Green tea has been shown to inhibit the activity of enzymes responsible for carbohydrate digestion and absorption in the gut, thereby reducing the rise in blood sugar levels after a meal. May improve brain function. Green tea does more than just keep you alert, it may also help boost brain function. The key active ingredient is caffeine, which is a known stimulant. It doesn't contain as much as coffee, but enough to produce a response without causing the jittery effects associated with taking in too much caffeine. Caffeine affects the brain by blocking an inhibitory neurotransmitter called adenosine. This way, it increases the firing of neurons and the concentration of neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine. Research has consistently shown that caffeine can improve various aspects of brain function, including mood, vigilance, reaction time, and memory. However, caffeine isn't the only brain-boosting compound in green tea. It also contains amino acid L-theanine, which can cross the blood-brain barrier. L-theanine increases the activity of the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA, which has anti-anxiety effects. In conclusion, the available evidence suggests that green tea may have potential benefits in the prevention and management of diabetes, particularly in improving glycemic control and insulin sensitivity. However, the overall impact of green tea on diabetes management remains unclear, and more research is needed to establish the optimal dosage and duration of green tea supplementation for individuals with diabetes. Additionally, it is essential to remember that green tea consumption should not replace conventional diabetes treatments but can be considered a complementary approach in managing the condition. As always, individuals with diabetes should consult with their healthcare providers before making any changes to their diet or lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.